that's getting to Revit. And let me show you how you can prepare your pre-designed documents in Revit. Here's the welcome page in Revit. You click on new, select your template like we did in the last class and click OK. So now in Revit, the first thing I want to do is to design the cover page for my presentation. Um, I double click on the sheet to edit it and then delete all these contents that I don't need and replace them with what I actually want to do. On that create, I click on detail line and put a line. I'm going to add the project name and I'm going to write pre-design stage. To add a new text, I go to click on create, click on text and then position it here to write the text. After that, I'll create another text for the project location. Click on text. I'll click on this tab on that properties to select the different types of text on the project. Um, I'm just going to pick anyone here. I'm going to still edit them. To edit the text, you select the text. You Go to Under Properties, click on Edit Type, Edit the Text Font and the Text Size. Those are basically the two main things you want to edit. Click on Apply. You can see how it is. You can also change the colors of the text by changing this color on that graphic, selecting it and picking any other color you want and click on Apply. Like in the last class, you can add other server um, things to this cover page. For me, what I just want to do is to add a picture and then the logo and address of the company, which I've already showed you how to do the last class. In preparing your pre-design stage, it's always good to use pictures that are related to the building so that you give your client ideas of what he or she might expect. I just got this picture from uh, Google Images, so you can actually get pictures from anywhere. It, it helps to start to measure what your client is expecting. You drag in an image, uh, place it, and then add some text. This is very quickly a good title blog for your pre-design stage. After that, you load it back into the project and override the existing title block. We can also add um, colors with different shapes to, the, to our sheet to make it much more beautiful. We can easily do that by adding what we call field regions in Revit. Go to create, go to field region, click on edit type. You can duplicate to create a region, but I already have one here. So, um, I'm just going to apply to the background. So on that background, click on this little tab here, select solid fill, and then you can come into this color palette and pick whatever color you want. Click on OK. On that subcategory, make sure it's invisible line if you don't want the, the borders of your shape to show. And then you can have something of this sort. Click finish. So just created this very nice little title panel. I'll load it back into the project. It's very important to note that uh, what I'm doing here can be done in any design software. But I just wanted to show you the possibilities you could achieve using Revit for this. The next thing I want to do now is to create the number of sheets I'll be using in the project. There are two ways to do that, but I'll just show you the shortcut. Right click on the sheet, click copy to clipboard. Make sure you are now in this open space, then click Ctrl V. You can see um, what happens. The more Ctrl V I click, the more the sheets appear, and these are new sheets with new numbers. So what I'm just going to do is to rename the sheets. And to do that, you select it, right click, and click on Rename. So right click, Rename. Um, you can remember the sheet number and the sheet title. But for now, I'm not putting sheet number, so I won't bother with it. So just the titles. So here, I'm going to call this brief development. I would like to introduce you to labels real quick. Labels in title block ratio are placeholders that you use to impute information repeatedly uh, within the project. You click on label on that create where you are editing your title blocks. Click the position you want it to be on the sheet. Here, I just want the sheet title. So I'll look at, go through it and look at sheet name. Click on the screen button to move it here and click OK. The sheet name appears with a font size and um, a style. You can select Select it and edit it if you want. There are other sizes you will appreciate. I can copy this field region I have here. Select it, click on copy, under modify, and then move it up here. Use these controls to adjust it to the size you want, and then load it into the project. So you can see once I do that, the sheet name changes to what is obtained here. But what I want to do now is to go ahead and then, and then fill up uh, this empty sheets with information, basically text and pictures to make a kind of presentation that would be beautiful. Like I said, you can make all these kind of things in other software. So I'm just using this because it's, um, I just want to show you that Revit can also do this in case you don't have any other software to work with. So I'm going to um, just go ahead and fill it up.